Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're going to talk about low flyers and high flyers. And, and basically we're going to stick with Foot Locker. So if you like these videos, go to my website, sign up, it's free. Or click down here in the bottom right hand corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And traders, if you're looking for a new broker, check out CobraTrading.com slash promo slash stock bookie best in the business using them for years if you want to, uh, if you want to switch brokers or if you're looking check out cobatrading.com you won't be disappointed all right so uh monthly chart we're going to talk about the low flyer since this is where it bounced so it moves up bullish consolidation into the 20 ma 20 ma sends this thing higher a little bit more of a bull flag sends it higher but this consolidation becomes support on the way down just like this consolidation becomes support on the way down so this thing consolidates, pops up, consolidates, pops up, makes a high, comes back into the consolidation, which now is support, bounces right back up. And you have the low pivot down in here as well. Right back up, makes a move, can't get above or stay above or close above the all-time high, comes right back in with a little bit of a topping tail at the all-time highs on the monthly chart. So it retraces up for five months back into the topping tail, and this is where you want to do the trade here. So we were um, shorting here, we covered half, went right back up, added again, covered half again. We told, we only, you know, if you get 78 to even a 67, you got to take something off the table there. Goes back up, we short again and get this move. We didn't catch it. I, I think I took it off at 65 bucks because these... These charts on monthly on monthly plays, you know, if they bounce off here, they could bounce up, and everyone knows by the dip. But this was a retailer, and I wish I would have held. Didn't, but you know what? We shorted a couple times, uh, got the retrace short again, retrace shorted again, and we got that move there. So that's plenty for me. But now we're looking at the low flyer. Remember, when you get extended from the 20 MA, and there's other things we look at too, not just getting extended. Um, other areas of resistance, whether it's a fib or whether it's um, uh, just high points or trend lines or what have you and we even have mathematical numbers as well that will give us some uh, resistance and support levels as well so this is what held double top boom right back down you have the 200 ma monthly that's a big one monthly time frame guys look at that bounce on there and then that, that took you know if you go to the weekly gosh it stopped like a brick wall pierced it and right back up so let me look i just want to go back and see what i yeah see you're catching these pivots caught the, you caught these little pivots right here that pivot low here, so let's just put one in. All right, let's put it on the this one, this one here, because that pierced it. Look, what, man, charts are so important, guys. So, so you get the bounce now on the weekly. You're back above the 20 MA. So, if you're in this one long, you need to stay above this 20 MA on the weekly close on thir on Friday. That is Thursday. We're off. I think uh, Friday's a half day, which will be. I don't think it will be the lightest day of the year. I mean, well, I guess, yeah, probably because there's really no volume in this thing lately. So, or in any, in, in the markets at all, period. So watch for more follow through. This will be a huge area too, right around 49.73. So watch for that. If you're long from down in here, you know, start protecting this thing. You don't want to have this click over and come right back down. But remember, this could be a low flyer or high flyer, guys. Get extended done from the upside and the downside. Everyone's brilliant when they're buying a dip, buying a dip, buying a dip. But when, when a guy like me sh sh adding short, adding short, adding short, I'm a moron. <laughs> so it, it, it works both ways, guys. I mean, if you're trying to buy the dip on this one, you are getting killed. Just like on a, just like on a long or a uh, short position as it goes up. Let's, let's, let's look at, um, you know what? Let's look at AAIO, our favorite one. This was one we were shorting. Average price was about uh, 87 bucks right in there. But we started adding around 75 80 I think 76 our average position was right around 76 when we were coming up in here and it started going you have to add and I mean it's things going to 100 but uh, my price target when it was up here was 40 bucks and that's pretty much where it ended up now though I mean there's the 20 MA what do I always tell you 20 MA is usually the target look where it went so, um, you know, a lot of people laughed at that. 40 bucks, this thing's going to 200. But, you know, again, this isn't a low flyer yet. It's got to go below. Let me show you another low flyers that we did in 2016. These are a long time ago. What we did with stocks like KMI. Look at look how extended it is from the 20 MA. Look what it did. Boop, 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 right to the 20 MA. Extended. And this, was, this was a low flyer. 
And then, you know, you got, in, if you can line these things up with technicals, this was a little more difficult. But when this, this candle started coming in, we broke down past that low right here. This thing was breaking down technically. So now if it breaks down, you're looking at even number at 20. You're looking at, you know, 1750. Uh, you're looking at 15, you know, 1250, all, all the quarter numbers, and then actually 10. Never made it there, but look at the bounce and look what the target was, the 20 MA again. Look at ETE. I know these stocks, we, oh my gosh, we killed it in these. ETE, this one was a little bit better because you had some pivots down in here, but it's still pierced, so you're waiting for that number, and then you're waiting for this double bottom, which it never made. So, you know, you don't want to miss this trade. Expect, this is just, just like reverse this thing, pretend it's going up. Same thing going down. If you get extended from the 20 MA, I mean, and again, there's other stuff to look for, but look at that. What was the target? 20 MA. Um... TRGP. These were all energy plays. Same thing though, guys. These were oh, these were killer. Held until July. Pfft, done. So this one too. Look at that. So hits these, and this one even retraced. Came back again and gave you another chance to get it off a double bottom. Ah, oh, these were these were great trades. But it, you know, look, high fly. This one's a great example. High flyer comes in, touches that. Low flyer comes right back. So that's all I'm saying, guys. With the high flyers, that's why we play them. But I know that. You can't start loading the boat. If you're gonna if you're gonna start adding at 100 bucks, this thing could go to 150. It could. Or you wait for the 125 area up in there. But sometimes you don't. You know, if this thing right when, when we were here at 100, I didn't short this one. We went long down in here. But you know, right at 100, you're thinking, oh my gosh, you know, you're getting a little extended. And now nah, then it was up here. It's like holy cow. But it took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months to come back in you know, below 100. So you got to know, you know, if you're going to put a, you know, some, a position on here, if you're going to go 50 grand, 10 grand, you go 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, two, you take your time. And sometimes you got to say, if you, you know, if you, if you go at 100 and it's at 125, you know, it's a tough trade, but you know, that's one of those, you, you don't want to miss this one when it comes in. So, all right, but that's the high flyer or the low flyers. It doesn't matter either way, guys, bull or bear, we'll trade whatever, any stock, anything. Give me, give me, um, Charts with nothing on it, no symbols or anything. I'll read them. I'll tell you. I don't care what it is. But th this was this was an epic one. Gosh, you know this was in 2014. These are just epic short. Look at that. Ugh. But again, epic long here too. This thing was the low at 16 bucks. It went to 60. 60. Damn, that was epic. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Really do appreciate it. God bless. See you on the charts.